Hello, and welcome to my Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar playthrough. We are right here. We left off in level five of the Abyss. Let's just go to the notes for a second and remind ourselves how this level is laid out. You can see here we've got the center thing with four fountains. Uh, and we've got some combat rooms to get through. And then we've got, again, two onks. Um, and I'm only going to do one like I did last time because I, I figure that'll be, uh, that you know, no sense doing more if we don't have to. Uh, we'll see what the uh, combat rooms have in store for us. Uh, I did try the fountains, one of them, last time after after i got done saving the game i tried this one right here and it did um it did injure me it's not a happy fountain <laughs> i don't know that i'm you know unless we're like in some dire straits i don't know that i'm gonna bother trusting any fountain here in the abyss because we haven't come across one and granted i did not try all four of them but we haven't found any that, um, you know, have had a positive effect on us. So uh, I think we can probably live without them. But we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. All right. So we're going to go into this combat room here. And what we're going to want to do is, well, first we want to cast Negate. Since there is a Balron in the room. And... As you'll notice, there's no exits out of here. Um, we actually want to exit out of here to the west, or sorry, the east. Um, so I'm assuming that will open up at an appropriate time once we, you know, step on a magic button someplace. But we've got a few things to take care of here. Now the Balrons and the Zorn are behind force fields, so... I will probably leave them there. Obviously, we got to keep our negate up, but I'm not inclined to bother casting any dispel spells to get to them. So we'll take care of our roller skating dragons here. And then uh, we'll see about getting out of here. These guys are being a little tough. We're down one. We've killed one. All right, you're going to be that way, huh? Is that guy fleeing? I don't remember seeing something that he was fleeing. But uh, I could have missed it, too. Because I've been sitting here talking. So stranger things have happened. What I'll be interested to see is, are these force fields... You know, is there... Oh, I should have had that person attack are, um, are we going to hit something here where the force fields are going to go away and then we have to take out the barons barons we time will tell don't know yet come on i think what i'm gonna do well i'll hit that guy he is fleeing that guy is fleeing so i guess you can hit that guy lightly wounded those two can pretend to take that guy on, and the rest of us will deal with this guy that appears to be fleeing. He is fleeing, and now he's dead. So, he's still lightly wounded. This guy has got some health to him, or we're just not making good hits. How did that Zorn get there? <laughs> Uh, did it like come th I wasn't watching down there did it like come through the brick somehow that's a little troublesome well I guess we at least got to take the Zorn out oh yeah it's going through the brick ooh interesting I I, I guess maybe it's just that brick that um is like invisible you, know, you can walk through it but usually they've got that little white dot on it but i think we have in, in dungeons in the past seen other examples of that where that's not the case so 
I still think I want our people. There we go. Let's see if we can find the switch to open up the passage to the west. Okay, so I was just curious if our shots would go through those walls, and it doesn't look like that's the case. All right, so we're going to get some people. I'm just going to kind of put Iolo there, and I'm going to probably bring Shamino down, but leave them kind of lined up. And I might just leave Joffrey there, too, as a melee guy to kind of guard that. And everybody else, I'm going to work on getting out of here or at least you know searching for the button with my luck my but the button is in there with the balrons um let's see you're just standing there mp2 low i forget who's got so shamino's got what he's got 28 so dupree might be able to do it but beyond that uh, a negate is only going to be able to be done by me. That's interesting. So Iola definitely can't do it. I should have moved them. Shamino, you can come down one. Jana, you can come down one. I'll come down one. That was... Oh, that was... Was that Joffrey I had trying to cast? Well, that would never work. No, that was Shamino. I'm pretty darn sure. All right. So Dupree... They haven't started casting sleep spells yet, but I don't want to trust them. All right. Oh, God. I have a feeling we're going to have to go in there. We're going to have to go in there, which makes some sense. Uh, which makes some sense. Um, so I'm just working on getting people. You can stay put. So Katrina has been all up and down there. I think I'm going to have them stay put. You know, Julia, I'm going to have you check something for me. You can stay put. All right, nothing still. And I know you can't attack from there, and you can't attack from there. I'm going to cast a spell. I hate to do it, but I failed. Oh, because of the gate. Then the gate's there. Oh, bloody hell. All right. Um, hmm, that's a problem. Yeah, we can't go through there. I just, I just have to do it sometime when... I have to wait for the for the negate spell to wear off, and then I can cast. I don't understand how that Zorn came through. It, maybe that's the power the Zorn has. I do not recall that at all. Um, but you know, what do I know? Uh, what I've forgotten about this game is a not inconsequential amount all right yeah she went up there he went up there I think we've been on every tile that's accessible to us right now so yeah we just got to wait for this negate to, to wear off and it just did I thought I was going to have to sit here. And... All right. Cast a spell. All right. Let's see if we can kill these guys before they get 
too far into their spell casting and the, their own. This guy's already heavily wounded. Still heavily wounded. Come on. All right, we're down one. All right, you can just stay put. I'm just gonna leave these two there. You can come down, you can come down. You, ah! I'm gonna see if I can take this guy out without wasting another negate spell. I don't think there's any real need to keep Joffrey there. All right, well, at least this guy's sleep spells don't seem to be too effective. Still haven't opened up the passageway. I need to get up to this guy before he puts me asleep. Okay. There we go. And I don't know if it's me standing there because I wasn't paying close enough attention or if it was killing the last Balron, but our way is open. So that is good news. So let's start getting some people moving out of here. I'm gonna let uh, Julia get out of here first because she's usually lagging behind. We got somebody, I think that's who's sleeping, Katrina. Yeah, that's what I thought. Might have to wake her up. Hopefully she's going to wake up soon. I'd just as soon not use up the magic if I didn't have to. There we go. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, I forget what those things at the top are called, but what I do recall is, is that they are um stationary so i don't know that i'm gonna bother um although we don't want to exit to the north from here because that'll just lead us back around to the chamber we came from we want to exit to the west and if this is if it is predicated on either killing everything or or um, hitting a certain tile, we may need that. And you know what, I think this is, given how many enemies we have in here, this is an excellent room for some tremor there. Yeah, that's pretty good. We have Phantom, they're called. No, Phant uh, Reaper. Phantom is the little sword guy. We killed all but one. <laughs> and we killed, we, I can't see how many we killed, but we killed probably four or five of those. So that's not too bad. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. You know, as, as such things go, let's get some people out and, uh, yeah, gazers can make people sleep. I had not forgotten that. It is at least a localized effect. Who's doing that? Oh, bloody hell. I didn't realize Reapers could do that. All right. Oh. And now everybody's asleep. Oh my God. Fortunately, they're trying to poison us and stuff and they're failing. kind of stuck here until somebody wakes up that can do in the gate. Alright, 
who's that? That's Julia. And now she's right back asleep again. This is nuts. There's somebody that cannot cast any spells. Barely wounded. All right, you are stuck where you are. All our range people are out. Everybody's doing okay on their health. Not that we can really do much about it now. Okay, Shamino is awake. Oh yes, Shamino can cast in a gate. Thank God. All right. Let's get some pain going here. Let's get that guy out of the way. He's still critical. Wow, that's a little surprising. I want to get this gazer to the north out of the way, like that, and then we can start hitting these reapers who can't flee. Okay. We just haven't fought these things in a while, so I had forgotten that uh, they had those area spells like the Balrons. Otherwise, I would have I would have cast. Wow, this gazer is kind of tough. I didn't need to do that. All right, that's gone. All right, so let's get up here. I need to get up here and start banging on these on these reapers a little bit. And we'll let some of our other people, and maybe I'll have Katrina come with me in between the two of us. We can probably thin their numbers a little bit. And we'll let uh, some of the other people deal with this last gazer, who seems to be surprisingly full of uh, hit points. All right. Get up there, Joffrey. Katrina, it's a big thing that doesn't move. How the hell did you miss? Somebody's still sleeping. That, I, that person could have attacked. I think this gazer is fleeing. So good luck with that. Katrina, you're killing me. There, okay, Gazer's, Gazer's gone. Lightly wounded still. All right, I'm just, we're just gonna, we're gonna all get up here and be in a position to, up. Oh. All right, I got to cast him up in the gate. And we need to get these guys taken out. That guy, uh, he's still fleeing. I think he's been fleeing, you know. Fleeing for a reaper looks like... Oh, that's Joffrey. Sorry, that doesn't work. Joffrey, my bad. Fleeing for a reaper is like, uh, you know, the mime running against the wind kind of thing. Oh, good job, Katrina. That was a nice hit. We're down to three. All right. Ah, we're down to one. We're down to zero. Perfect, we got three people sleeping. Okay. Well, we'll give them some time. Let's see, so we... Uh, that's right, so the thing did not open. Um, so we gotta kinda walk around here and see if we can find the magic button that will open up the path to the west. Or to the east, sorry, to the east. I, I don't know my cardinal directions. So, I wouldn't think it would be, 
Nope, so I didn't want to do that. I wouldn't think it would be... I guess it could be up there in the path going the other direction. That seems a little weird. All right, everybody... No, not everybody's awake. We still Who's still sleeping? Oh, and Katrina's poisoned. Excellent. Excellent, that's what I want. I'm just trying to be somewhat methodical in how I move people around. Oh, there we go. Oh, I was thinking it was down here by the gold. Who who did I just move? Shamino over there. Ah, that's kind of tricky. So that's where it is. Okay, so good. So we can get Jana moving that direction. I'm going to come down here and get the gold. Everybody else can start working on getting out of here. 49 gold. Very nice. I, I'm liking we're getting a little bit of gold. Not that we're hurting for gold, but tops us up to over 4,000, which uh, I'll never complain about. I'll never complain about a little bit more gold. It's kind of kind of an empty reward at this point, but an empty reward is better than no reward. All right. Um, Joffrey, Katrina, Dupree. Uh, let's see, I'm going to have Iolo spend his turn curing Katrina since she's poisoned. Can't really move anywhere right now, so that works out well. And I wanted to get her healed before we got into the next combat room. You know, so apparently the thing with this level is that the exit that we want to go is always going to be hidden. All right, and Julia just woke up. Perfect. It's not my fault that you're one of the last ones leaving this time, Julia. So you get for being so susceptible to sleep spells. All right. This is Julia and I. And out we go. Oh, interesting. There appears to be nothing here. I'll believe it when I see it, if we make it all the way through. All right, but let's, uh, let's get rolling. Everybody get in. I mean, you, I think we pretty much have to go between the trees because trying to go through the trees is just going to be too slow. And if there is going to be a button, it's probably going to be like right there at that point where the where the trees are thinnest. What happens if we go through the trees? Yeah, slow progress. We could go through the trees. We'll risk it. Whatever comes for us, we'll just kill them. That's what we do. All right. We're gonna have to kind of do a single file kind of thing. As we move through, I guess we could now nah, we get that one poison. Oh, that's mean. And now Joffrey's poisoned. All right. Well, we'll take care of that. I'm curious if there's going to be any more of this. I'm not going to heal or cure anybody yet. Oh, we're going to all have to go through poison. Okay. So what I'm going to do is as people reach the um, the, the uh, tiled floor at the bottom, I'm going to heal them. But we're all going to get poisoned. Yep. Well, no, that's not true. That's not true. Um, we just need to do it to spell. I'm an idiot. So...
Shamino could have done as a spell there. I think Iolo can do as a spell. Okay, yeah. So I'll spend, I'll cure uh, Katrina. And then my next round, I will cure Joffrey. So Joffrey is two. Okay, there we go. Everybody's cured up. It costs us at the spell spell. Oh, it came back. What the what? And Iolo is now. Okay, so the spells, it comes back. So I'm going to go with my first plan because it's not worth the dispels. Cures are cheaper as far as, as far as reagents go, I'm pretty dang sure, um, than dispels are. So, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a pain, but I think that's what's best. But at least these two are cured so they can uh, get out of here. I need to cure Iolo. That's a Viet. But it's just going to be like this trial of endurance here. So that is Joffrey. He is cured. It doesn't really matter. We're not going into another combat room when we leave here. We should be in the hallway where we've got the the ladders. All right. All right. So we got two people right now. I'm going to cure Iolo. And I will cure Iolo 5. All right. Ooh, I want to go down. Well, he's already poisoned. <laughs> it's, it's not like he can get poisoned twice. And that's why. Uh, all right, I'll come down. You can come down. You're out of here. You wait a second. You can come down. Wait. I'm going to cure. Who's that? Shamino down there? Yeah. Shamino, that's seven. All right. All right. All right, the rest of us are all poisoned. All right, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna cure Dupree this round. And now I'm gonna cure, is that Julia? And who's left, me and Jana. So I will get Jana. And then I'll cure myself. Out of here. All right. So let's hold up a camp. Get some health back. We have some people that are at full health. I think. No. Nah. Because Iolo, I th yeah, he said 700. All right. So we have a choice. We can go down toward the trolls. And there's one. Or there's also one down here where I don't see anything. So we're going to go down this way. And there it is. All right. I mean, actually, just to be on the safe side, we're going to save right there. And I'm going to, I'm going to use a stone. All right, as the Prof, the voice rings out, what virtue does stem from love and courage? We are in level five, which is sacrifice. Um, and I think sacrifice is a good fit, you know, love and courage. And actually, oh, these are the altars. I hadn't looked at my altar, but these are the altars. 
uh, the altar of truth, the altar of love, truth and love. Yeah, okay, these are the various altars where we could... Um, that's what that means. We we picked up this lore long ago. Uh, I'll show you what I'm I'm talking about here. Go go to the notes. So you know, truth, love, courage, and we are at love and courage. I remember truth and love. That was justice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, these are the answers. It didn't make sense to me because we didn't use this information when we were getting when we were using the stones and getting the three part key. So. So yeah, it didn't make a ton of sense to me uh, at the time, but that's what that means. That's what that means. Okay, so we know the answer is sacrifice. So let's type that in. S-A-C-R-I-F-I-C-E. Sacrifice. Use thy stone. Sacrifice, we found the opposite is covetous, and that is orange. Orange. The altar changes before your eyes. Okay, so we can descend to level six. And as we usually do, let's peer at a gem. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, another ladder up, which makes sense because we had two ladders down. Um... I, I don't understand this cluster of combat rooms in the middle. That's a lot. I mean, maybe there's gold. I don't know why you'd want to go all the way through that when the shortest path is going through two of them, which I guess is what we will try to do uh, if we can. Okay, so I'm going to come out of here. So, yeah, we could go into a door right there, but then we'd have to go through one, two, three, four, five, six <laughs> combat rooms. Um, so, let's see. So, I can go that way. It doesn't really matter. If I go to the west, come over here, I go all the way down. And that's a combat room that leads nowhere. I think if you did, I think it's just... These are hazards. If you didn't peer at a gem, you wouldn't know the right path. And so you might spend a lot of time fumbling through all of these. But you know what? Looking at our time, I think we're, we're this is probably a good place to end it. We just slept. Everybody's at full health, which is very, very, very nice. We're down there on level six. I'm surprised how long it took us to get through level five. That took a bit longer than... Um, then one through four. So I guess the difficulty is ramping up. You know, having to find the right button to stand on thing takes time. And uh, I guess that's where we were at. But we will continue on, go through the combat rooms into level six and go down to level seven, which is only, I believe it's gonna, only going to be eight, eight, um, eight levels to this and then the codex. So, and I don't know what's involved in the chamber of the codex. So we'll see what that's going to be like, but we're getting closer. I'm still kind of hopeful we might get through this uh, by episode 100. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not really planning this out to make that happen, but I think we're going to be close because this one's 97. So we're, we're getting really, really, really close. And if we end up having to do a, a level per episode, we're, we're kind of there. But, you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to force that. You know, if level seven is easy peasy and we breeze right through it, then we'll go on to eight. There's no reason to, you know, set artificial. We finish it on level 100. That's not me. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you're back. Come back with me where we'll fight our way through level six and we will go to level seven and move on in our quest to beat the abyss and get to the chamber of the codex as the world's only avatar. But thanks for watching. And until next time, be seeing you.